if you don't have access to private money, I'm about to share the number one objection you face and how you can easily and effortlessly handle it once and for all. Hey, this is Patrick Riddle with Awesome REI. The reason why you and many investors out there can't get private money, are you ready for it? It's because your private lender prospects don't believe you're going to do what you say you're going to do. It's that simple. It's a credibility issue. And I know that for many of you out there, you're just getting started. You've never done a deal, or maybe you've done a few wholesale deals but have never borrowed money from a private lender. How are you going to answer the inevitable question, have you done this before? So that your prospective lender walks away thinking of you as trustworthy, even if you're a newbie. I'm going to share two principles with you. And this is advanced stuff, so pay close attention. These principles are going to allow you to combat this objection and build massive credibility so that you instill confidence in your lenders, so that they believe you're going to do what you say. The first principle you're going to use is the principle of association. Now, whether you like it or not, people judge you based on who you associate with or based on who they perceive you associate with. What we're going to do is leverage your REI team to help build massive credibility for you. Some of your real estate investing team members uh, like your real estate agent, mortgage broker, whoever's doing your closings, whether it's an attorney or title company, appraiser, contractor. Okay, so for example, my closing attorney, we use attorneys in South Carolina to close transactions, has been in business for over 20 years. I communicate that with my potential lenders when telling them about my team. And what does that do for me? Huge credibility boost. Also, when you're talking with people about your investment opportunities, instead of saying me and my and I, use the word we. That will automatically communicate that it's more than just you running the show. You've got a team of experts at your back. Okay, next we're going to use the principle of Aikido. Aikido is a Japanese form of martial arts. The idea is for you to go with your opponent's force rather than against it. And we're going to use this principle to combat the big objection when someone asks you, have you done this before? When someone asks that, they're directing all their momentum and force at you, the person, individually. What we want to do is go with their momentum, but redirect it away from us, the individual, and towards the property, which is the actual security that gives comfort to the private lender in a transaction like this. So we're going to take all the focus off of us, the individual, and redirect that towards the property. So for an example, when someone asks you the question, have you done this before? You could say, well, no, I'm newer to real estate investing. Most of my team has been active in the real estate industry for many years, though. For instance, my attorney handling our closings has been in business for over 20 years. Our main contractor has been servicing the local community for well over a decade. We really believe in leveraging the expertise of others, whether it's our real estate agent, mortgage broker, appraiser, whoever. And I want to make sure that you understand, though, that ultimately your security in an opportunity like this is the property that we purchase with your funds which you'll have a chance to okay and review all the numbers and information before saying yes and getting started with us. So there you go. Now you know how to handle most effectively that biggest objection you're going to face if you're new to private money. The principle of association, the principle of Aikido, put those to work for you. If you have any questions, we're here for you 100%. Just toss your questions in the common area. All right, I'm out of here. Have a good one, and we'll see you again soon.